What's up guys, it's the Old Ninja wearing not aviators and a super royal hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. This is the next episode going over how to kick throughout the summer, the Become a Ninja series for kickers. If somehow you missed previous episodes, this is basically a series where I take you one week at a time throughout the summer to teach you different kinds of kicks and different kinds of um, kicking techniques that will allow you to become a kicker by the end of the summer, kind of like the series name entails. Today we are going over the Pop 360 Crescent Kick. And so let's get started. Man, that's going to be interesting to see if that comes up. For our Pop 360 Crescent, it's really important that we start to understand the different kinds of jumps because yes, we've covered a couple different jumping techniques in the previous episodes, but I really wanna cover the differences between uh, two in particular. You have our skipping jump where we will uh, launch with our knee up and switch as we go forward. We did this a lot in, you know, even in the first episode when we did our skipping front kick. And then we have what's called a pop. A pop means we take off of two feet at the same time. You do not want to go one, two as a pop. A pop just means you jump off of two feet at the same time. Now that we got the understanding of that, we can break down what pop 360 uh, crescent kick will be. It will be a pop 360 crescent kick. I know, crazy naming stuff. However, there is a level I want to teach you before we get to the full Pop 360 Crescent, and that is just the skipping jump or the uh, Step 360 Crescent. Now, obviously, you should watch the Crescent Kick video in order to learn what a Crescent Kick is and how to do it. However, we're going to assume you've already done that and teach you the jumping, spinning Crescent Kick that's because that's the first stage. What we're going to do is we're going to turn, looking at our target, we're going to lift one foot that kicking leg i'm gonna jump complete the spin crescent kick all the way around and again turn lift one foot for right now jump to complete the spin crescent kick and that all together becomes bang just like that and we can land as i as i do it in a different direction you can land on one foot for this kind of kick this is just getting you used to spinning and kicking all at once. Hopefully the uh, audio that's attached to my shirt is not super messed up because of all the jumping. But um, that's the first step. So if you've never done this before, you wanna make sure you can uh, get into a nice bladed stance, jump, turn, kick, all at once. In order to get the true Pop 360 Crescent Kick, or you could technically do it as a Pop 360 hook, either one works, you really have to understand how powerful it is you have to jump. So you're gonna to wanna to warm up your tuck jumps, meaning you use your arms and pull your knees up to your chest, kinda of like a cannonball. And you're gonna to wanna to warm up your pop 360 tucks, meaning you do the same thing except you spin 360 degrees. Now that we have those two jumps and that first kick solid, what we're going to do is instead of being in that squared stance like we have been, we're gonna blade, which we've covered, I think, before, if not. Um, that just means instead of saying square, you're gonna angle it more. And what we're going to do is we're gonna reach behind us because we really wanna use our elbows to pull us around for this jump. So initially, we're just gonna practice the jump, reaching back to our left side, pulling to our right side as we jump off of two feet. Your goal is to start facing in one direction and finish facing in that same direction. Once you're able to do that, what we're going to do is start taking our kicking leg, which is our back foot, and just kick a smurf, like a little baby kick at first, right? And that's gonna be our first level. Then we wanna see if we can land on two feet when we do it. <sighs> and that's gonna be like, the, again, kicking at a smurf, right? We're not kicking super high yet. We're just getting the momentum down. The one thing that you're gonna need, or you don't technically need it, but it does help, is stepping into it. So instead of starting here, we're gonna wind up, step, step, and then that will be our motion, right? So this is all momentum based. We're building momentum. And so our elbows add momentum into our spin, and our step will do the same thing. We'll step, step, 
One more time, watch my feet, watch my feet. Step, step, crank, kick, land. And when you do it all together, it'll look something like that. Now, as you land, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you land softly by bending your knees as you land to help your body absorb the force. It's much better for your knees, much better for your hips, and much better for your ankles, so make sure to practice safely. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it wasn't super complex or, or confusing because all the kicks going forward are gonna be high level, whether that's a tornado kick like we're gonna go over next, or even a 720 or 540, or all those things. It's gonna be fun, but make sure you practice your basic kicks, the ones that we covered in the beginning of the series, because that's gonna make the advanced ones a whole lot easier to learn. With that said, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to